This video is a little bit different because in this video we're talking about how to raise your vibrations or frequency in order to astral project, lucid dream, shift, or just generally have a better experience. You know, raise your vibration, improve your ability to manifest and do things and just enhance your energy in general. So I just wanna make this very clear at the beginning. When I say raise your vibrations, that's a term which a lot of people well, not a lot of people, but some people would be put off by because they'd think, oh, it's some new agey thing, some spiritual nonsense. Really what I'm just referring to is just raising the bar in several areas of your life with regard to your body and mind. You know, just like you when you go to the gym, there's certain exercises that are more effective than others. And if you do those exercises, you'll have more gains, let's say, more strength, more muscle, more, more ability. So when I say raising your vibrations, I really just mean improving yourself in certain key areas. And then when you do that, it will have knock-on effect on things like lucid dreaming and other things you want to try. So before we get into this, affirmations and you know what you tell yourself is very important. So go and comment saying, I will raise my vibrations now, or I am high vibration. Because what this does is actually programs your subconscious mind to believe that you are raising your vibrations and you are becoming better. Affirmations are incredibly powerful. This is why top athletes, top CEOs, pretty much anyone who's high performing and doing well at what they do will be using affirmations, they'll be visualizing and they'll be doing things like this. So how can raising your vibrations actually help you to do whatever you wanna do? Lucid dream, astral project, shift, manifest. Well, you've gotta think of yourself as almost like a tuning fork. So when you're at a certain vibration or frequency, you will then attract and influence other people or situations or things that are at the same frequency. So a, a very easy example of this, which literally anyone can kind of verify for themselves, is if you think of those people you might know who seem to attract really positive experiences and people to them, it almost seems like everything they touch turns to gold and things are just effortless for them. I'm sure you know someone at least like this, right? And then you probably also know somebody who constantly seems to be struggling with something. They're constantly the victim. They're always, you know, having bad experiences, bad relationships, bad, a bad time at their job, financial trouble. You know, they all, all of these things seem to go together. And it's not a coincidence and it's certainly not random. What it is, is that when you're at a certain frequency, you will, like I said, you'll attract other things at that frequency. And this has been said countless times throughout history in different ways. You know, uh, people will have said, you attract what you think, you, what you focus on, you get more of. Um, we are what we, uh, we become what we think about. There's all kinds of quotes which are basically saying the same thing. You will attract what you, what you are. You know, your vibration, your vibrational state is what you will attract. So, the good news is, it's very easy to change this. Okay, so let's just get right into it now. So how can you raise your vibration? The first one is something that even the most skeptical among us, you know who you are, cannot refute, okay? And that is meditation. Meditation has so many powerful benefits that have been documented scientifically, but also just by billions of people around the world throughout history. Meditation is so powerful that it's, included as one of the main tools in almost every transformational growth program, every coaching program, high level CEOs, athletes, you know, really anyone who is trying to better themselves, you will use meditation because it just works. So if you don't already meditate, it's very easy to start. All you need to do is just set a timer for five minutes every morning, just go put the timer on and just kind of focus on your breath for those five minutes. Try not to focus on anything else. And then if you do focus on, if you do find yourself thinking about other things, just bring your attention back to the breath. That's one way of meditating. There's obviously hundreds of ways that you can try. Number two is another thing which is very hard to disprove or, dis or not believe. And that is that you will be the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So this has been said in many different circles, in business, in personal growth, in really any area of your life, um, you, will be you will absorb and become like the five people you spend the most time with. So if you're spending your time with five people who are very negative, they're not, you know, they're underachieving, they are unhealthy, they complain about things, they gossip, then you will become exactly like that if you're not already. In the same way, if you hang around five 
hyper successful, you know, healthy, wealthy, positive people, then you will also become like that. It's just one of those rules. You just, uh, I don't know how it works, but you just, well, I do know how it works actually, but it just is one of those things that is very easy to prove. If you look at any social group, any friendship group, they will all be very similar in terms of their health, their ability, their achievements, their financial situation, and their mindset. They will be very similar. And of course you'll have exceptions, but as a rule of thumb, people will sort of group themselves with people who are like them. But you can use that to your advantage and you can actually, let's say if you are not how you want to be, you can decide to go and pick out five people who you do want to be like, and then just try try and spend more time with them, try and hang around with them, you know, try and be more like them. Number three is a very easy and simple one, and that is just to set the intention, just decide that you actually want to raise your vibrations and that you want to change. It's as simple as that. Number four is to sleep better. Okay, so sleep has been described as our main superpower. Without sleep, we would literally die. And with with sleep, with good sleep, you can basically improve and heal from almost anything. It's very beneficial for anything you can imagine. And most people, like the vast majority of people, are not getting enough sleep and they're not getting enough quality sleep. So what I would suggest you do is to pick up a, a sleep tracker like this. This is an aura ring. Let me just... Uh, So this is an aura ring, and as you can see, it doesn't look very different to your typical ring, but it's tracking my sleep, it's tracking my heart rate, my sleep stages, my, you know, everything, temperature even. And uh, it even tells you a few days before, or not a few days, it tells you um, kind of 24 to 48 hours before if you actually are going to get sick. It detects um, like small changes in your body temperature and your heart rate, and it will actually let you know on the app that you're getting sick. Um, now, luckily I haven't actually got sick since I got this ring. It's been about one or two years now, but there are people who seem to be getting sick all the time lately for reasons which I <laughs> clearly know, but I can't explain on this video. So yeah, it tells you if you're getting sick, it's useful, tracks your sleep, and then it kind of gives you tips on how to improve your sleep. Number five, and this is kind of, again, quite a general one, but there's so much detail here, I just can't go into it all on this video. And that is to get a snapshot of who you are as a person, as a soul, as um, an ego, and you know, like your personality traits, your history, your astrology, your numerology, and your archetype. Now, what I would say is don't focus on any one area here, because these are just kind of data points. So what you wanna do is collect as many of these data points as you can. You wanna get a snapshot of your your um, vitamin levels, your astrology, your archetype, your numerology, your birth chart. And all of these things, when you put them together and take a step back, then you can take a look at yourself and see, ah, this is a pattern I can recognize. Or, you know, this area needs a bit of work. And so I'm gonna list, leave a list of free and some paid tools in the description. Um, most of them actually are free, uh, especially like the moon reading, the numerology, the um, astrology thing and a few personality tests. You can get uh, most of them for free if you click on the links. And I really encourage you to do them because for a very small amount of money, I think in total it'll be like $30 for you know most of these paid versions as well as the free ones, you will get a very clear snapshot of you as a person and it will show you exactly how you tick, basically. So very interesting to know. And number seven, and this is not the last one because I'm gonna go on to um, kind of signs of a high vibration and warnings as well. But number seven is something that Tony Robbins talks a lot about, and that is to re reframe or change your reaction. And there's different ways of explaining this. Basically, your reaction or your reactional state is how you respond to things without really thinking about it and without deciding. It's kind of like a default response. And what you'll find is that most people when they have something stressful happen, uh, their default response will be to either panic or to get angry. And then sort of in between that, you'll have people who will just freeze or they'll kind of just give up and not do anything. And of course, these three responses, none of them help you. Literally none of those responses help you and none of them actually help you solve the problem. They all kind of make it worse. So you have to ask yourself, why do I react in that way if the reaction I'm you know, giving the reaction I'm, I'm uh, having doesn't help me in any way. It literally makes things worse. So just take, decide now to step in 
and say, I'm going to change how I react to things. I'm going to change my default states and reframe my emotional state. Easier said than done, of course. Now, if you want to learn more about that, check out Tony Robbins' work. Uh, he's done a number of uh, like courses about this. So how can you raise your vibration in the morning? The reason I say the morning is because in the morning, our brainwaves are in a certain frequency where we absorb ideas more easily. So this is one of the key reasons why you should not look at your phone first thing in the morning, especially social media, because you're going to be absorbing things that you don't want to absorb. So make sure that when you first wake up, you meditate, you write your dreams down, or you record your dreams in a, like an audio transcription app. I made another video about that. And of course, don't look at your phone other than the app that I just told you to use. So don't look at social media specifically. So what are some signs of a high vibration? Signs that you're on the right track, you're raising your frequency, and you're improving yourself. So the first one is that good experiences, good things, seem to keep happening to you, or they keep happening around you. You keep getting attracted or invited to things. Uh, maybe people message you, or you just get opportunities that you you know, that most people don't get. This is a good sign. Another one is that in the same way, people are drawn to you. People will reach out and get in touch with you or people maybe even in public, like um, you're walking around or you're browsing a shop and someone will literally come up to you and, and start a conversation with you. You'll attract people in a certain way and people who kind of resonate on the same level as you will, it's almost like they can just see you, that you stick out compared to everyone else because your vibration is high. And people can see this, you know, people can see this in your eyes, people can see this in your energy and just the way you interact with the world. And that will actually attract people who are like that towards you. And then another sign is that your default state, kind of the, um, the default emotional reaction that you have to things is very positive. So if something happens, your first reaction without even thinking is, is a positive one. You don't freak out, you don't panic, you don't get angry, you just kind of observe what's happening. And then you ask yourself questions, you know, how can I fix this? If it's a problem, how can I solve this? Um, why is this happening? Why am I, you know, why, if you are, if you do react, ask yourself, why am I reacting in that way? And then try and identify like the root cause of that reaction. It could be an insecurity, it could be a belief, um, could be anything, literally. But there's always a reason, there's always something which causes it. So yeah, those are some signs of a high vibration. This is a topic, as you can, as you can tell, which I don't normally share on this channel. So this channel is, like I said, mostly focused on lucid dreaming and astral projection and a bit of shifting. My other channel, Astral HQ, is where I talk much more about spirituality, consciousness, reality, and all of the metaphysical, complex, and I would say more important topics. So please go and check out my other channel, Astral HQ, if you haven't already. And leave a comment now just saying, I will raise my vibrations. If you didn't do this before, you know, when I first said it, I think it was about 10 minutes ago, then try and do it now because affirmations are really important and they will help you to change your subconscious beliefs.